and welcome back to Not The Kitchen. We are actually in my office today because there is still work going on upstairs in the kitchen. Um, like I mentioned before, we're getting a stove and a new microwave up there. So fortunately, this recipe is really easy to make without a real kitchen as long as you have an electric skillet, which I do. And we are making wassail. So if you don't know about wassail, it is basically it's a spiced hot drink and usually it's alcoholic, but today of course we're making a non-alcoholic version. And the story of wassail is actually pretty interesting and it goes back to traditions from pre-Christian Britain. So I'll be talking about that a little bit while we're mixing up our wassail. So let's get a look at our ingredients. Alright, so we have some apple cider, which um, the typical wassail could be made with hard cider or with beer, wine, ale, mead, you know. It can be made with any alcoholic drink, but today we're just gonna be using regular apple cider that is not alcoholic, and also some orange juice, some lemon juice, and then we have our various spices here. We have some cinnamon, which the recipe doesn't actually call for, but I thought it would be good to add it. Some whole cloves, which um, you strain out at the end so people don't swallow a clove. Some ginger, some whole cinnamon sticks, which also you would strain out or just take them out, and some nutmeg. All right. So wassail actually goes back to the time when in Britain, people in midwinter would gather in local orchards or just around local fruit trees and they would be drinking some hot spiced alcoholic drinks. They would be singing, they would be shouting, banging pots and pans. Um, also, at sometimes they would actually pour some of the hot spiced drink out around the base of the fruit trees. Okay, and just plugging in my skillet here. The point of this was to scare away evil spirits to bring honor to the spirits of the trees and ensure a good harvest for the next year. All right, so we're gonna add eight cups of apple cider and then I will continue the wassail story. This is cup three. I'm having some doubts that eight cups are actually gonna fit in here. So I'm thinking I'm gonna cut the recipe in half. All right, so that's four cups. So instead of two cups of orange juice, I'm just gonna do one cup. for a half cup. We're going to do a quarter cup of the lemon juice. All right, I'm just eyeballing this so my whole cup I'm just going to fill it a quarter of the way through. Okay we're going to add our spices but first I'll continue the story. So during these celebrations that I was just describing part of it was going around and shouting was hail. Uh, you would shout was hail to your neighbors and wish was hail to the trees themselves. And wassail in Old English means to be whole or be in good health. So it's like drinking to your health. Um, hail is actually, if you've heard the expression hail and hearty, it's just an old expression that means to be healthy and be in good health. All right, and then after Christianity started spreading throughout Britain, these wassail celebrations became part of the Twelfth Night celebrations. So if you've never heard of Twelfth Night, it's the same thing as the Twelfth Day of Christmas. You know, like the song, The Twelve Days of Christmas. So traditionally, you would celebrate Christmas for 12 days, starting on December 25th. That was the first day of Christmas. And then going all the way up to um, January 5th. And it's also called Twelfth Night, which is the eve of January 6th. January 6th is Epiphany. That's the feast um, celebrating when the wise men came. So the 5th is Twelfth Night. And people started doing their wassailing on Twelfth Night. And they would go sometimes still do the orchard thing like I described before. And another part of this celebration is going around door to door, um, wishing all your neighbors was hail, or it could even involve going to 
whatever the local manor house was in your area and begging wassail and other treats from the lord of the manor. Like in that song, here we come a wassailing. All right, so let's add our spices. We need four whole cinnamon sticks, which I have exactly four left. Oh, I was only supposed to put two in. Oh, well, it'll be extra cinnamony. I just won't put this in. And then we need 12 cloves. So I'm gonna put six cloves. I mean, I'm not really gonna count them all. That's approximate, right? Okay. And then we need a quarter teaspoon of ground ginger. So it actually would be an eighth teaspoon. So I'm just gonna fill this quarter teaspoon halfway. And then finally, a quarter teaspoon of the ground nutmeg, which I finally bought nutmeg. All right, so you combine all your ingredients in a large pan. Then you bring to a simmer over medium to low heat. Then you reduce the heat and you keep simmering for 45 minutes. And that's it, then you serve it. So let's bring this up to a simmer, this finicky pot. All right, and I'll be back once this comes to a simmer. All right, it is just about starting to simmer. So I put the lid back on, but with a little crack um, at the side like that so that some of the steam can come up but it's still mostly covered. All right, I'll just show you. You can see there it is simmering and it's actually getting close to a boil or like a low boil. Um, so I'm just going to turn the heat down and put this back on. I'm going to turn my heat down as low as I can get away with with this pot. Um, if you've seen me use this pot before in other videos, usually it either is way too hot or it's way too cold because as soon as it gets up to temperature, it shuts itself off, um, which I guess is a safety feature, but it's sort of annoying if you're trying to, see now it's boiling, if you're trying to keep something at a low simmer. But if you're just working on a regular stove top, I would say just put it on like low, medium low, and it should keep simmering. And then just wait 45 minutes. All right, we'll be back to serve it up. All right, it's all ready, so we're gonna start putting it together in cups. enjoy this recipe if you decide to make it and I hope that you have a lovely holiday. Bye!